hey, so I know I criticized The Last Jedi, but <clears throat> I think I realized something. I didn't, I didn't realize the the nuance of the main character Ray. Okay, she goes, so here's, uh, I get it now. So I take back what I said. Okay, so here, here's the thing with Ray. Ray doesn't have conventional force powers per se. She has a totally different ability, the power of feminism. So this, you can see this in The Force Awakens. Like every time a male fails in her presence, she becomes super talented at whatever the guy failed at. So in The Force Awakens, um, Kylo Ren tries to tap into her mind and he fails and then she gains mind control abilities and dominates the Craig, Daniel Craig stormtrooper. Then later on in the movie, Finn tries to protect her. He fails because men always fail. And then she becomes super talented at using a lightsaber because that's what Finn failed at doing. And then, so she bests Kylo Ren. Okay, and then, in The Last Jedi, she meets Luke Skywalker, who apparently is the biggest failure ever in the galaxy at everything. So standing in his presence, she becomes super talented at everything and masters her Jedi training in one or two days. Hence, she's the most powerful being in the universe now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that sounds good, right? Yeah. A, a very, very subtle. Okay. 